my goodness it is such a beautiful day out today so what I want to show you today is going to be a product that I usually carry with me all the time right now it's right here in my pant pocket now why is that because I haven't had a chance yet to show you how to install it and how to use it so today I'm gonna take you up into the dirt um, but on the way there do you see this right over here it's kind of a pain in the butt so you take your hand off the throttle and guess what you slow down so if you look at some of the other cruise control options out there or throttle lock options and those throttle lock options are pretty expensive for what you're getting I think there is a simple little tool that I carry with me and I usually throw on whatever bike that I'm on just because it makes cruising these highways that much nicer. It literally just clips right here and allows you to be able to remove your hand, do whatever you need to do, and then put your hand back on the bar again. It's called a Go Cruise. I don't know if you've ever heard of it before or not. The clear line of sight in front of you, you just literally come over here, stick that puppy down, And cruise you got your right hand you can do whatever you need to you can scratch your back you can pick your nose you shouldn't play with anything up on your dashboard but hey, it'd be really great to turn off your ABS if you see a dirt road you want to hammer and again if you want to adjust it to go just a little bit quicker reach down grab some throttle put your index finger down and it's just gonna hold you at that speed whatever throttle position that's at and then to back off reach up and back off it's just that simple but back when I bought mine which I'll show you here in just a minute I bought it for like 10 or 12 bucks stupid cheap oh shoot did I miss my turn off dude that's where I'm supposed to be going I totally missed my turn off what a bummer anyway we're gonna go up onto some of those dirt roads over there so bear with me as I make my way that direction Anyway, back to my story. So I'm riding this R1200 GS Adventure that I had just picked up in 2008. Had zero miles on it. I spent about a week putting 500 miles on it, got it serviced done, and then I was disappearing for six weeks. Just disappearing, gone. Six hours on the road. I get up near Chico, California, and my wrist is cramping. My ergonomics, I have not really dialed in on the bike yet. And my, literally, I thought my butthole was bleeding. That seat was so miserably uncomfortable. So I stopped into a little shop and I picked up a Go Cruise and I picked up uh, at that time an Airhawk seat cushion. Dude, two of the best purchases I think I've ever made for a motorcycle. And both of them were relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other options that are out there in the field. I have no idea where this goes. I'm just looking to head towards the mountains. So bear with me as we try to make our way that direction as I continue telling my story. So the Go Cruise allows you to basically have a little lever. I'm going to show you all this in the video, so I really don't need to explain it, but it's going to be this little lever that's just going to stick up. It's going to be totally out of the way when you don't need it, and then you literally just rock it down into position. It pins your throttle open, and you're dialed. There's enough mud in the street here that makes, it, makes me think, whoa, that was a little bit sketchy. All right. How can we get up to those hills right there? Whoa, look at that thing. Sand rail. Grand Vista. There we go, found it. Ha ha! Oh, look at that hill climb. Should we take it? I think we should. Hold on, guys. Up into the mountains. the actual road. Oh, look at this. Nice. 
nice. Oh yeah, look at this view. This is fantastic. Let's go up this one. This tire is cutting out. Come on, buddy. Oh, here it goes. Oh. All right. Well, I guess that's photo worthy. If nothing else. Well, let's use this for a good opportunity to talk. If this was a DCT version, or on a hill like this, we wouldn't be able to have the bike in first gear not rolling down the hill. Like, what would you do in that situation? Right now, I can leave the bike in first gear, just kind of rock it backwards, letting the clutch out, that allows me to have that brake that I'm looking for. How do you do that with a DCT bike? I don't know the answer to that question. All right. Sorry for the heavy breathing, guys. That was fun. This tire does not have much traction at all. Not so good for hill climbing like that. So the grass just got stuck in there probably. Look how beautiful this day is, guys. Mount Baldy over there. So as I was saying earlier, I always have this guy in my pocket. Now literally just slips over the grip like this, riding down the road, you got your wrist twisted, push that forward and it hits the brake lever. It's really that simple. You want to kick it off, you just roll it forward, and now it's absolutely unintrusive. Yeah. I've been using this guy forever. It's an amazing device. I think every bike that doesn't have a cruise control on it should definitely have one of these in the pocket of its rider. Now, just recently I saw this guy at the AIM Expo. It's the new Go Cruise 2. It's aluminum and looks like it's adjustable here with the spring. But as you can see, it functions exactly the same way. So I've got a pro tip for you. Almost all my bikes have bark busters on them. And it comes with this little um, rubber sleeve that you slide on over the bar to come around here. It makes this a little bit bigger and it makes it non-slippery. So some grips are kind of slippery right here and that doesn't bode well. So sliding that, that silicone ring over the bar doesn't work. Let me show you my trick. Have you ever heard of a product called Rescue Tape? This is it right here. So Rescue Tape is silicone. It's not actually sticky. It doesn't really stick to anything. Oh shoot, can't litter. I always have Rescue Tape with me. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Motion Pro makes their version, but this is the original Rescue Tape version. Again, silicone tape. It goes up to like 400 degrees Fahrenheit, fixes electrical, it'll fix a radiator hose. I carry this stuff with me all the time. Now the only problem is it binds to itself, not to other things. And I'm going to put several wraps on there. Now this makes a nice sticky platform for the Grow Cruise to sit on. Again, you just spread it over the top like this. So usually when I'm riding around town, I'll just crank it up like that so there's no way that that could possibly make contact with my lever or be obtrusive in any way. So I'm going to show you this one working on the freeway. This guy here is the brand new version. You got a little silicone ring. Slides on over, done, but if you got the pro tip, you don't need that. Now, so how does this work differently? I'm gonna take this guy, there it is, tighten down, I can still move it, I can still back it off, 
Looks like it's gonna work well. I haven't yet used this one. I've only been using this one forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Well, at least since 2008, which feels like forever. A lot's happened in the last 10 years. What I'm gonna do now is take you on a ride using the Go Cruise and show you how it works. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Africa Twin Adventure Sports Model. What a gorgeous, gorgeous day. So stoked. Hmm. Looks like I'm not the only one that's been up here. I see two tire tracks. Pretty fresh. There was not a tire track when I came up, so somebody else has come up since I've been up here. Ooh. This tire is not stopping. I need some knobbies. So stay tuned. I got a set of Kenda Big Blocks that I'm going to be testing on this bike here pretty shortly. All right, so a lot of you have asked how I like this Africa Twin since I've been on it, and I got to say it's a phenomenal machine. Honda just makes a quality product. This thing is so stout. It's just, it feels really well put together. They've done a really phenomenal job. All right, so I'll just get you quickly up to speed here. Down and check this out. No hands, we're maintaining speed. Now what if you need to cut the throttle off real quick if someone's coming up? Boom, you just cut the throttle off. It's that simple. Obviously you would never use this if you were in traffic or stop and go situations or in the city or anything like that. Look at this guy, he is in the full race tub. Get it dude, get it. Again, I just rock it up out of the way when I'm in town phenomenal piece so this one here the go cruise 2 i paid about 30 bucks for and then the standard one like i said i've had that thing for so long um i mean back when i bought it it was like 10 bucks but i think right now they're going for i don't know 15 or 18 depending on where you're buying them at chaparral motorsports has the original go cruise i don't think that they carry the uh, go cruise 2 but after having played with this and seeing how easy it is to use, and I like the fact you can just crank it open, crank it closed, you can adjust the pressure or tension on the bar. I'm gonna go to our purchasing team and recommend that we get that Go Cruise 2 on order as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys if you want the go cruise the standard one chaparral motorsports has them in stock and ready to be shipped if you would like the new version the aluminum one i got mine directly from go cruise but here shortly i'm going to go into this place and tell the purchasing manager that i highly recommend that we add those to stock so hopefully here in the next week or so chaparral motorsports will have those and i will get that link updated in the description of this video to show the links to both of those products if you're here because of the Africa Twin, this thing is super fun. We've got a bunch more videos coming out regarding this bike. If you're here because of the Go Cruise and you don't currently have a throttle lock on your bike, it's a very inexpensive piece that will give you peace of mind and uncramped wrists and hands. Phenomenal piece.